all right welcome back everyone to yet another video i did it again i recorded a 48 minute video with youtube sounds from a mortal shell walkthrough in the background so you can't hear anything that i'm saying so that's how i roll uh, and I have no idea why, but like the OBS doesn't tell me there's desktop audio in the background, which it should. It does sometimes, but it didn't this time. So yeah, that sucks because I work with like you should see, you should see how my tabs look. There's like two. You can see there's like two hundred things there. So I never notice if there's like uh, if there's like one video going in the background. Uh, so I usually like put on my headset and try to listen, but yeah, that's just life. Uh, so I'm gonna try to walk you through it. There's probably gonna be lots of errors. I cleaned up most stuff. I kind of wanna get this uh, wrap this up. Uh, so this might be the last episode in a little while uh, because there's lots of vacation and stuff going on, and I'm going to Spain, and um, there's it's summer, so lots of drinking going on in general and stuff like that. So that's just how it is so uh, uh i'm probably not gonna gonna be as much by the computer um and uh but yeah and also i'm i'm like really dying to jump into to ua5 which i pretty much haven't done at all so i kind of want to do like a third person third person shooter resident evil zombie multiplayer thingy there tutorial series uh, so that would be nice, but yeah, so I'm probably going to put this on hold uh, for a little bit, but uh, as always, leave comments if there's something you really want to see and I'll probably do it. Uh, I'm not going to do like an inventory system or something like that that requires like 10 videos to do. Uh, I kind of want to do, I do want to do an inventory system, but I, I think I'll probably do that in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's probably going to be, it's, it's, you can still do. 26, 27, UE 26, 27, and Unreal Engine 5 is not going to be a huge difference. Um, and so, so that's where I'm at mentally. Uh, but if there's like some small stuff that you want seen, I I'll probably do a video. I won't delete. I accidentally, the thing is, I accidentally deleted the For Honor series. I'm not going to delete this one, so I'm going to keep it. Because uh, I kind of want to do more with it as well, but I think I'm gonna, in that case, like update the animations because it's uh, everything here is free, so it's not looking like as nice as it could be. So I kind of regret saying everything. Everything is gonna be free, but uh, everything is free here now. Uh, so and I think uh, it's looking really well, depending on, especially like uh, for how how cheap the set everything would be. So yeah. There's some stuff that we need to fix. Uh, first and foremost, in the master AI, uh, there is a, because you, you, you saw that I didn't do any damage with the sword. And that's because in the last, in the, uh, in the, take damage. Because we had in the last video we did this damage amount, so it's coming through the projectile, so it's not hard coded anymore. So we need to pass that amount through uh, from our melee attacks as well. And uh, let's see. So if we go to our player, third person character, we have AI take damage. We have this AI take damage, so I just pass the amount through here and pass it through to the apply damage. And then when we do our tracing, you can see we do our start and end trace. And before we do this, we need to go to our event attack, which is where we do our attack. And where you divide on the different weapons, we need to uh, 
depending on I only did it on the X uh, so um, basically create a new variable it's gonna be of the type s attack details and so basically this is how it's looking for you so you are deciding this from from the selection node here you uh, by the combo count you decide what animation to play you are instead gonna Grab this. Yeah, I have this super annoying bug, so I need to restart. Uh, it's not working great for me right now. Uh, I'm gonna pause. All right, back. Yeah, this is stupid because I bought a new computer and it's a 3070 card. And uh, the problem with that is it's there's nothing problem with that, but the problem is that apparently some monitors have an issue with this 3070 card and Unreal. So like you can see now, now when I click this, it comes down, but like every now and then I can't like drag out variables and stuff like that and the screen on this it just turns black but it doesn't on the recording software so it's really weird uh, so anyway uh, you're gonna get this current attack details you're gonna set it and it's the variable we just made and you're gonna disconnect this and you're gonna disconnect all of these and you're gonna delete those nodes and instead from the combo count, we're gonna set the attack details and we're gonna plug in attack one, attack two, and attack three. Ta -da! So we instead from the combo, we don't just decide what attack animation we're doing, we are deciding what the current attack actually is. And from there, we instead break it. And then we're gonna do this like that instead. And you can also see we have this damage amount, which is now being set in the current attack. So you also obviously need to go into your weapons. And from the attack, different attacks, we have different damage amounts. So 20, I just put 20 on both of them, but you can vary if you want to. So that means that before we do the apply damage, we grab the current attack, which is the variable we created, and we pass through the damage from the current attack to the server apply damage to AI. And that makes sure that we're gonna pass the damage through. So let's see if that works. I'm not sure I actually set damage on the sword, but let's see. I did. Perfect. And we also want to be able to kill our AI character. So, bam! You can see he's dying. So, that's what I also made. Uh, so, to do that, you obviously need an attack animation or a death animation. So, I'm really tired and I'm very hungover. So, I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna explain this poorly. Uh, but you need a death animation and you need to create a death animation montage from it. So uh, I just found this troll react death, which looks like this. I made an animation montage of it and I enabled root motion. It is enabled, and you also need to create a copy of it, go to the very end, delete frames zero, no, sorry, that's wrong, delete frame zero to frame 100. There we go. And now you have a static post death animation as well. Just name it death or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. In your master AI, when we take damage, uh, you don't have this yet. I'm going to show this later. Uh, 
this. So add a branch afterwards that checks if your current health is below zero. Then you are gonna get the deep. Oh, did I get the bug again? No, I didn't. Good. Um, as enemy details from the behavior details, I also added this death animation. So you need to go into your AI behavior. Behave no, not the attack behavior. Behavior details, and I added this death animation, which is an enemy montage. So if we die, health is below zero. We remove the target so we no longer attack. And we do a death animation. We disable the movement. And then I created a new function called event set is dead, which is basically just a delay and then a rep notify. So this does not need to be replicated since it's used to drive the rep notify if dead, but everything on the AI is already on the server, so that's fine. And then we do another delay, and then we destroy the actor. This is dead rep, rep notify is used to control a boolean in our animation blueprint. Because after we do the death root motion animation, I'm actually going to increase this to 3 seconds or 2.5. And so when we do our death root motion animation, after that, we are going to transition into the static pose so that we don't, so that the air don't get up again, basically. So to do that, in all of your animation blueprints that you're using, you need this variable called isDead. So create a variable that's called isDead. So I have it in both the troll and I have it in the master animation blueprint as well. isDead. Not sure why I did this. That's not necessary. No, that's just the way it is. Um, ah, no, of course, that's that's huge. That's important. So, yeah. Um, in your master AI animation blueprints, No, that's not important at all. I'm not sure why I did that. No worries. Uh, so in your animation blueprint, you are going to create a blend pose by bool at the end. And the bool that controls it is going to be the is dead bool, which we are setting from master AI. We are setting the... So... And if is that is true, we're gonna play the static death animation, which is this one. And you basically need to do do this for all of your blueprints. So if you go to your master AI. Mm. No. So when we set this is dead in that rep because that's a rep notify. So we get the anime instance from the mesh, the anime instance. We start by casting to the master animation blueprint and set is dead. And if that cast fails, we cast to the troll animation blueprint and it's dead. And you need to do this for your all your animation blueprints. So that no matter what character it is, it's dying. Um, so that's how we play the death animation. Uh, when we die, 
um, since we disabled this target, um, I also in the comment graph, before we reset the combat, we add a check. So if has target is true, we decide the current attack. But if it's false, uh, we're not going to reset the combat. So that means that we won't try to keep attacking the player. Cool, right? That's how we die. Mm. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, and yeah, you obviously have to play around with the delay of your character. Uh, so that it actually matches. Uh, and what more did I do? Yeah, one more thing. When you actually... When you fire your bow, and you hit the AI, you want him to aggro as you see that he did. So I, so to do that, uh, in your master AI, when we take damage, we're also going to add a branch. So if we don't have a target when we take damage, that means we are taking damage outside of the aggro range. Uh, oh, sorry, one second. Uh, that means we are taking damage from outside of the aggro range. So then we're just going to do the find closest player. We're going to set has target to true, and we're going to initiate combat. Not harder than that. That's about it. A lot quicker when I explain it afterwards because there was I had some issues when I was trying to to do this. I probably missed something. Uh, maybe who knows? Uh, I'm not gonna re-record that 48 minute <laughs> video uh, and doing anything everything from scratch because uh, this works. I think that's pretty much all I did. Uh, I might have done some small changes but i don't think so i think that's good uh, just let me know in the comments if there's something confusing and i'll try to explain uh, as i said i'll probably i'll probably i'm not sure i might just continue doing more videos with this uh, main focus in life now is to get drunk and uh, enjoy summer but uh, as always let me know in the comments if you have any questions uh, and uh, yeah, don't feel ashamed to just spam requests and stuff like that because I do enjoy making you all happy by doing videos and everything. So don't hesitate to ask. See you later. Bye.